This tutorial shows off curve editing tools in Curvy. I'm going to draw a lathe object of a goblet. And then right click on the curve to select the curve. And I've used align curve to axis to li line up vertically. Next I'm going to use the widget move, the soft move tool to shape the object. I can use a low intensity to shape only a small part of the object with the widget soft move tool. And a high intensity. The intensity is actually it's just like a percentage of the surface which gets moved. So this is a 50 intensity, which is about a 50% 50% of the surface is moving. We can also change the, the shape of the move. Let's use drag on the, the shape sl slider to make either a pointed or a flat shape. This is useful for adding little corners to your object. I'm going to add some grips on the handle. With small details, you'll want to increase the resolution slider. Now, by contrast, we can use a very flat move tool to drag out a large flat area of the surface. And with a very small intensity, we can drag out a chunk, which on the lathe gives us a stripe. Now I'll show you how you can change one type of object into another. We're going to change this lathe. We're going to select the curve and copy the curve. And then we're going to draw a line. It doesn't matter what it looks like because we're going to be replacing it soon. Select the lines curve and replace curve with clipboard. This creates a line object which follows the same shape as the goblet originally did. Just change the width of the line object. I'll set the colour so you can see it more easily. Where there's lots of objects overlapping, it's easier to pick them from the groups menu. So there we've reused a curve from the lathe to make a line. Let's reset the view and draw a line object to show you off some more of the curve editing tools. Um, the first tool is redraw curve. This will actually replace the entire curve you've got selected with a new one. Uh, we don't want to do that right now. So we're going to go on to this, the, the next tool, which is Draw Details. This lets you redraw small segments of the curve. Again, we'll increase the resolution and redraw a small segment of the curve. And again, and again. The next tool is the trim curve. It'll snip off the shortest end of the curve. So if you need to trim off a longer length, just start by the short length and trim off a few times. The ruler tool draws straight lines between two points, drag between two points, and it straightens out. Now there's several curved rulers. The first is the, the semicircle, which will, when dragged between two points, redraw a semicircle shape. This is good for slightly mechanical shaped objects.
Then there's the draw semi ellipse. Um, it gives you slightly better shapes, but less uniform. Then there's a circle arc and ellipse arc. They try and draw the closest, closest matching arc shape, um, and give end up giving you very smooth curves. The redraw is simple curve takes an entire segment and redraws it as a smooth Bezier. Um, the soften smooth segment redraws a small area smoothly. There's actually three smooth brushes, the droplet, the magnet and the polish. Uh, the magnet can redraw large areas and will get smoother and smoother quite rapidly. The polish is quite subtle, it just tweaks the uh, the curvature of the line to make it a bit smoother. You can also apply the same tools to the same the whole curve at once with the buttons lower down. Just mirroring this curve doesn't do much for a line object, so let's convert this into a, a lathe object. Again, copy the curve, draw a, a small lathe, select that curve and paste in, replace the curve from clipboard. So that's given us a lathe object of the same shape. We're going to mirror clone that curve to make a new lathe object, and now this lathe has two curves, so if we edit them, we can make an asymmetrical lathe. So for instance, let's flatten out these two edges. So there's the basics of curve editing in Curvy.